Virgo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Ian from Cancer Moose Tarot coming at you guys with your September 2018 Love Tarot reading, all right? Keep in mind, it's a general read. Not everything will apply to you. If nothing applies to you, you more than likely don't have any messages. Feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus or any other amazing YouTubers we got out here on the YouTubes, all right? Let's see what's happening here, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 2018. I'm pulling from the Rebel Tarot deck, so we're about to get some blunt and severe messages going on for you. Let's see what's happening here, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2018. No, sorry, September 2018. All right, Virgo, you already got your first message. What's popping? Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive and let shit go. There's a lot of things that you may be clinging on to. There's a lot of feelings that you've been going through, and I've been acknowledging it since August. There are a lot of feelings that you Virgos are going through, a lot of things that you're feeling. You have to learn to let things go, especially when it comes towards your karmic cycle, and to stop living in the past. Only live for the present moment, okay? Only live for the present moment is what I'm seeing here. Also, fuck, shit is about to get real. Fuck, you need your people around you, okay, is what I'm seeing here as well. And also, don't fucking force it, okay? Allow that shit to come to you. Those are the cards that were sticking out to me for some reason, so I decided to read them as well. Keep in mind, of course, it can apply, it cannot apply, whatever we're going through here, right? But I feel as if, you know, a lot of things are about to happen, and it's about to happen for a reason. Things are about to get intense, you know, very intense around your zodiac sign, but it's not for a negative reason. It almost feels like big changes are coming for you, all right? That's what I'm seeing here, Virgos. Let's see what's happening. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 2018. What's going on for my Virgos? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 2018. Virgo, mutual energy between you and another person, eight of swords in reverse. So you guys are coming out of a period of overthinking, okay? A period of negative headspace. Whatever is happening, you had so many thoughts that were trapping you. You had thoughts that were lowering your vibration. You were more than likely in a very sad state or a very weird mood. It's not your usual mood that you've been in, right? And whatever was happening between you and this person, you guys are no longer overthinking about the situation. It's almost as if you're releasing each other. It's time to let go. You're letting go of things that aren't serving you this month is what I'm seeing here, okay? Yeah, whoever you're dealing with, Six of Cups in reverse, they think about you still, but they think about you not in the right light, okay? It's in the reverse position. They think about the negative shit. They think about, you know, the bad past shit, right? And I feel as if you're at a point where you don't want to give this person a second chance anymore, okay? You were at a point before where you wanted to give this person a chance, you wanted to see where things would go, but now you're in a vibration where it's like, dude, I'm moving on and doing me and looking for new things. Whoever you're dealing with here, they're just looking at the negative side and the negative aspect of the relationship, and they're not even thinking about reconciliation. As for the outcome, Page of Cups, there's more than likely an apology that's coming your way from this person. I'm not seeing any love offers there, but there's love offers from new people that are coming in for you, Virgo. Okay? You guys are having your options this month. There's options that are coming in. Just be sure to stop holding on to what's, you know, what's not serving you. Also, for these options that are coming in with that Four of Pentacles, I understand that some of you guys are going to be on guard during this month, but try not to be too much on guard. There are new people that are going to come into your life, and you know you should respect that not every person is the same, especially the same as your last. So you got to come into a realization that if you're ready to meet new people, you got to be willing to be vulnerable. Even though it's hard to be vulnerable, you have to be willing to do it, right? Is what I'm seeing here for you, Virgos. Moving forward, we have five of wands in reverse. I'm seeing that you're letting go of a lot of negative shit. You're letting all these negative things go. You're letting that past person go. And I think you're coming into like an overall vibration where you just want to focus on yourself. Do you learn and understand your karmic lessons and meet new people? And that's great to do because when you start meeting new people, as well as focus on yourself, things go a lot better, a lot smoother in your life, right? Nine of Pentacles. You're, there we go, baby. Now you're about to get into your confident energy, okay? Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Your confidence is about to go through the fucking roof, all right? Nine of Pentacles. Granted, you may be single. You're raising your vibration. You're focusing on you. You're in your solo dolo lane doing everything that you gotta do to make yourself popping and i fucking love it right now okay the energy is great where you're moving you're moving into such a high vibration ten of swords in reverse you're healing from your past mistakes you're healing from your past with this other person you're healing from everything that's not serving you anymore and because you're in a period of healing you're looking at yourself in a better light you know you're no longer getting down on yourself you're no longer beating yourself up you are appreciating the person you are seven of cups as i saw before you're getting your opportunities there's multiple opportunities that are coming in for you multiple people that are coming in for you and you're going to be able to pick from the batch now always of course make sure you pick the right one of the batch there's always a couple ones that are not going to be good there's going to be a couple of you know rotten eggs there that you don't want to pick 
So be very mindful of that. But I'm seeing that you do and will have your options that are coming towards you, okay? Six of Pentacles, you're regaining your balance back during this month, okay? When it comes towards your finances, your finances gonna be popping, all right? Even if you're somebody in college, you're still gonna get, you know, be getting that money, all right? Parents gonna be sending that money through real quick. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, here we go. Put in a lot of work into yourself. When it correlates to your career in finance, now is the time to really start putting that effort, uh, that extra effort and that extra work in because your money is about to skyrocket. If you're somebody who is not a student or things of that nature and does have a day-to-day -day job, your money is about to skyrocket when you put in that effort and work. But what I'm seeing overall is that you're putting in that effort and work on yourself. You're meeting new people. You're getting out there. You're getting in a higher vibration and you're being more happy because whatever happened between you and this past person, things are over, right? Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups in reverse. You are no longer talking to this person and you're looking for new relations. You are so over your ex and your ex is, you know, honestly so over you and it's beautiful because considering you guys are finally done with your cycle the cycle is closed out you're going to be meeting new people enjoying new people's company and overall having fun which is the best thing you could possibly do right queen of cups in reverse you're detaching your emotions from that person letting that person go also in this time period for some of you virgos you may be cold um to this person right um because you're just focusing on you and doing you so if, if out of the blue your ex hits you up you may actually end up being pretty cold to them because i'm not seeing you want to communicate with them um at all right now virgo but regardless though you're moving towards a new relationship you're getting something new that's coming in your life what do we have over here yeah three of cups you're getting your happiness back you're getting your joy back for those of you, you're hanging with your boys, you're hanging with your girls, you're going out, you're having fun, you're staying around family and friends and people that support you. You're hanging around people that are raising your vibration, okay? Um, those people that you're being around, those are people that are going to bring you joy and happiness and you're not having a worry in the world or a care in the world for things that don't serve you anymore. You guys have gone through enough shit. You've gone through enough bullshit to the point where you don't want to take it anymore. You are ready to let it go. You are ready to do your thing. You're ready to shine bright like a motherfucking diamond. Rihanna. Someone loves Rihanna over here. I like Rihanna. Rihanna's good, <laughs> right? But seriously though, you're over this. And I love it because you're moving towards so many better things for yourself, right? Ten of Pentacles, you're moving towards stability, not even stability just in your career and finance, stability in your mental. And your mental health is where you're moving. You're getting mental, your mental stability back, your mental health back, your happiness back, and you are just vibing like a motherfucker. Queen of Swords, you cut out these things that aren't serving you with this Queen of Swords. You're cutting out everything that doesn't, you know, belong to you. Not only did you cut out your ex, you probably cut out some friends, some fake people. You're cutting everything around you because you're waking the fuck up. You're noticing, Virgo, that... <clears throat> And you're noticing that there's a lot of things that will lower your vibration and you're coming to terms that when you put that focus in you you're the happiest you that you could be and you know that there's things that are around you that will lower it but now you're starting to cut those things off despite of it just being your ex or not it can even be friends or family members or acquaintances things of that nature okay hi priestess your intuition's on motherfucking point okay you probably have piscean somewhere in your chart too virgo can be dealing with a pisces or was dealing with a pisces with that it, with that high priestess being there the reason why you're starting to cut off things that aren't serving you and you're starting to raise your vibration is because you're connecting more with your higher self. You're connecting more with your intuition and your soul and your higher self knows what's best for you than your logical brain does sometimes, right? So your higher self's communicating with you. You're getting into alignment with your higher self, which is beautiful. All right, let's get a couple more cards going for you guys. I love this though. This is good energy. This is really good energy. T yeah, Ten of Wands to the Hangman in Reverse. You're letting go of the burdens. You're letting go of the things that were holding you back. You're not letting a single thing holding you back. You guys are shining this month, bro. Shining this month, Virgo. And you know, we're moving into Virgo season, which is fucking awesome, too. I love Virgo season. Oh, look what's on the floor right now, too, man. Look what's on the floor right now. What do we got here, Virgos? We have the sun, baby. You're moving into your happiness. When I said high vibes, we're hit we were hitting high fucking vibes, man. You guys are letting all this shit go. You're finding new people. You're meeting new people. You're having fun. You're experiencing life in the way that you should be experiencing life. And it's such a good way. And I love every fucking second. I love every minute of it, Virgo. This is amazing. Let me get one more card going for y'all. And I'll let you guys go, all right? But this is, we're moving into such better energy. It's a beautiful fucking feeling, man. It's a beautiful feeling. All right? We got the justice card here, too. This is your karma card. This is everything to deal with your karma as well as your balance. Not only are you restoring your balance back, can be dealing with a Libra, have Libra in your chart, but not only are you restoring your balance back to yourself, karma is going in your favor, okay? Some of you here could have just gone through a divorce. The divorce went in your favor, but if you're not dealing with a divorce with that justice card being there, you're gaining back balance in your life, but the universe is starting to bless you, okay, for the mistakes that you didn't make that someone else made. So now you're getting the karma that people want to call good karma, but you're getting the benefits of the universe. You're getting benefits of God right now. There's gifts that are about to enter your life, Virgo. 
there's great gifts that are about to enter your life okay yeah things are going great and also i just want to point out though when it comes to your love life and your relationships you're gonna be meeting more people now i'm not seeing an actual relationship being birthed this month and that's fine you know i'm not seeing an actual relationship come to you know come to pass but you're moving towards stability with someone okay out of that out of, out of that seven of cups you're gonna meet somebody good and you're gonna start continuing to talk to all these new people and all these new guys these new girls whatever but you're on route to find somebody new you're on route to another relationship so whether it's your soul partner or not you're already going to find another relationship that makes you happy and especially happier than your previous one was. But this is more so the month of you are just shining bright. You are happy. You're in the best vibration. You're feeling good about yourself. You're probably working out, eating healthy, doing your thing. You're feeling great. And that's what matters. Not even the relationship aspect, the fact that you're feeling whole within yourself. And that's what I love so much about this reading. Virgos, thank you guys so much for watching. Truthfully appreciate it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments below. Um, really this was just awesome this was an awesome read hopefully no one took offense to the to the cards in the beginning and you know fuck shit's about to get real you know you need your people around you the shit that's about to get real is that you're about to literally cut off everything that doesn't serve you and you're cutting off these emotions that don't serve you either you're forgiving and letting shit go and this is so awesome guys thank you all so much for coming out truthfully appreciate it if it resonates let me know down in the comments below virgo i'll catch you guys later i'll catch you guys for your mid months have a good one guys peace